Rahul, what is game testing? What exactly does a game tester do? What is the scope of game testing? Can you get a job? How do you join as a game tester? All these questions are going to be answered in this video. Hi, I'm Rahul Sagal. I'm the founder of Game to Maker, India's number one game development school. It's all online and you can also follow me on Instagram and get the latest tips, tricks and hacks and make sure that you join the Game to Maker Discord, which is actually in the description of this video. All right. Now, the thing is that a lot of people don't know what game testing is. They wonder about what it is. They wonder about how to get in. I'm going to be talking about all that. Firstly, game testing is a real role. There are four fields in game development. One is game design. One is game art. One is game programming and of course game testing. Now game testing is a really, really important role because game testers are the ones that actually test everything. They're also called QA, which is quality assurance. So game testers or QA are actually the ones that actually make sure that the game is built exactly the way that it is supposed to be built. It is not an easy job. Now I'm gonna tell you what, what exactly game testers do. Game testers, actually believe it or not, I was my first job ever in the game industry was in Vancouver at a game studio called Piranha mm. Games and I was actually working there as a, as a game tester as a QA uh, for some time so and it was awesome so which is why I kind of know what I'm talking about but my start in the game industry was as a tester so what testers do is that they actually have a test plan big companies huge companies and AAA games they have huge testing teams and testers are given the job of actually taking the build from the programmers and the designers. As the build is finished, they take the build and they test it. They play the game and they try to break it. That's their job. Their job is to find bugs and find whatever's going to happen. Why do they do this? Because here's the thing. Once you build a game, when you're building the game, the, the development team is testing it, the designers are testing it, the artists are testing it, the programmers are testing it, they're just playing the game, but they don't play to that level. Also, the problem is that if it's your game, you're not going to be able to give feedback on it, you're going to, not going to be able to see the bugs, which is where testers come in and they really comprehensively test the game. Because remember, once a game gets out there, once a game gets into the market, it's possible that hundreds thousands, maybe even millions of people are going to be playing this game. They're going to be playing in crazy ways. They're going to be doing all kinds of funny stuff. You know, because you're a player, you understand when you launch a game, you want to do whatever you want. You want to go different places, explore, try and break the game. And if it breaks, then you crib that the game was broken. Also, no one likes bugs because bugs completely spoil the experience. So now the tester's job is to actually play the game in every which way possible to try and break it and then actually tell the development team, the developers, the artists, the designers about these kinds of bugs. Now, how do they do it? They do it according to a testing plan. They don't just like randomly pick up the game and start playing it, no. So there's actually a lead QA engineer. So usually the lead QA engineer prepares a test plan. So for example, the test plan would be sorted out into different parts of the game. Somebody would test the user interface. Somebody would have to test the actual gameplay. Somebody would have to test the multiplayer component of the game if it's there. Some of them would actually be testing particular missions. Somebody would be testing particular levels. So the game itself, the functionality of the game is broken into different parts and this functionality is handed to different testers who are actually going to be playing the game very comprehensively. So for example, in the test plan, there are going to be different fields such as gameplay and there's actually going to be a list of things that you need to do. For example, play the game for 15 minutes, do this mission, do this, 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 this and try and break it. So everyone, every tester will have their job. They're going to actually go through the list, the checklist of actually the things they have to test. And at the end of it, whatever bugs they find, they're actually going to be making bug reports. So a bug report is something which a tester makes. It actually contains all the details of that particular bug. For example, where the bug was found, how the bug was found, and also the level and severity of the bug. So what exactly is level and severity of the bug? See, there are some things which are really bad bugs, which are like a crash bugs. If you're doing something and the game suddenly crashes, well, then that's a very, very serious bug, right? That definitely is a bug that has to be tackled immediately. 
there may be other bugs. For example, uh, there's a problem with the texture or the game is having some particular problem. You're not able to access a particular level or there is some animation which is wrong or there's a graphic graphical problem. That is also a bug, but that is a big bug of a lower level than that. Then you can also have bugs which can be feedback. For example, the test end can think, okay, this particular wall is not high enough and it's possible that if the player uses something and jumps over it, they can actually kind of break the level. Those are a different kind of bug. So in the bug report, there's going to be everything. There's going to be a name. There's going to be a number. There's going to be severity of the bug. There is going to be reproductibility. What is reproductibility? Reproductibility is how often can you reproduce it? So it's possible that some bugs may be not possible to reproduce so often. If you play that same level 100 times, you maybe get that bug only five times. So that is reproducibility. And there's also something how to reproduce. That is that the tester has to actually write down the exact steps of what he or she did to actually make that bug come up. Right. So all these things have to be submitted in the bug report. Then the bug report actually goes to whoever it's meant for. If it's a graphical bug, it'll go to the artist. If it's a programming bug, it'll go to the programmer. If it's a design bug, then it's going to go to the designer. And then it's possible that the designer may call the tester and say, hey, can you talk to me? And then they may talk about themselves, about what the bug was and how it happened. And then what's going to happen is that the designer, artist, programmer is going to try and fix that bug. And then you're going to say, OK, listen, I have, this bug is fixed. Can you test it again? So once that bug is fixed, the tester has to test the game once again and make sure that that bug has actually been fixed. They have to verify it. Now, sometimes what happens, there's something very strange happened, which is called regression, which means that if you fix one bug, you actually create other bugs, which is messed up. But it happens all the time in video games, which is why you must be seeing that games toward the end. Sometimes games get delayed because this bug fixing, sometimes you fix one bug and breaks other things gets pretty, pretty crazy, right? So this is how the whole system of bug fixing works. It's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. It's not like a walk in the park, like you're playing video games all day. You actually have to do a fair amount of work to be a tester. So this is the job of the tester. Now let's talk about the scope of game testing. It's really good. Now game testers in big studios, you have dozens, maybe sometimes even hundreds of game testers. And if you join as a game tester, you can actually go from a low level game tester. You can actually become a supervisor. You can even go to lead. You can even become the lead QA engineer, which is really good job at a high position, which is kind of almost the same level as a lead designer or a lead programmer, because remember, testing is really, really important. Now, the pay is good, especially for companies like EA and Ubisoft, etc. Testing is a very serious business and you can get a really, really good position, a really good salary over there. Lastly, I want to talk about how you can get in as a game tester. Well, this is one of the fields in which you can get in at a low skill level. Like you don't need to be a designer or an artist or programmer. You can actually be a gamer, but remember you have to communicate. So if you have good communication skills and if you know a little bit about game development, if you know a little bit about the process, that would really help you. So if you have a resume or something that you can send into these companies, that would be which actually shows some of the stuff that's really helpful. I have people from Gamer to Maker who actually joined Ubisoft as game testers and their time at Gamer to Maker really, really helped them. Next, the really cool thing about game testing is that you can actually move from game testing to other fields. I know so like myself, I moved from game testing into game design till I become a lead designer and creative director. Similarly, you can start as a tester. And once you're in the studio, you understand the process. You can shift to game design, game art, game programming. You can become a game designer, game artist, game programmer. The world is completely open to you. Game testing is a great way to actually get your foot in the door in the game industry. But also remember that there are a lot of companies out there that exploit you who are going to be like, you know, making you test games and not going to pay you well. So be very, very aware of that. Um, all in all, game testing is a very legit field. It's a technical field and you can make good progress. You can make good money. You can also join the game industry quite comparatively easy as a game tester. So if you have any questions, what you think about this, do let me know. And if you have any ideas about what else, do I can put in my content. Do let me know. I'll see you around. Let's go.